how you doing? You all right? Uh, uh, great. Yeah. Now, you said to me when you came out, and I appreciate it, you said, hey, nice to see you, man. And then you looked at me and you said, you look great. But the look in your eye, I could tell you didn't mean it. Now, <laughs> do, do I look bad? Do I look like I'm fading here? No, no, I felt weird saying you look great always means like it sounds Compared like... to being dead is what you were thinking, right? <laughs> Actually, like when I saw you on Monday, because uh, they were promoing it all day, but they never showed you right. in the promos. Yeah, slick, and, huh? Yeah. yeah. And I said, I wonder what Dave's going to look like. And I was watching with my buddy, and uh, <laughs> then uh, you come out, and your face looked like green. Green, ooh. And then I said, oh, my God, Dave's uh, face turned green. <laughs> right? And uh, then it turned like pink. Ooh. And then I realized it was my TV. It wasn't him. <laughs> You thought maybe it was a side effect of the surgery at first. No, I knew that people don't turn green, pink, green, 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 pink. Yeah. But right. I thought right at first you were green. I said, oh, my God. So, anyways, I, I'm going to uh, get my TV fixed, which is a lot better than, you know, when you think about it. Yeah. Well, well, easier, probably, too. Than now, getting you. <clears throat> I, I heard something uh, <laughs> that I, I thought was interesting. and, and I, I get nervous. I'm, I get nervous around sick people. <laughs> I know you're not I'm, sick. I'm fine. I'm not. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've been I've been through yeah, a rather yeah. strenuous procedure. Yeah, I know. But I'm not. I'm oh not. my god! I know. I know all about that stuff. I go to doctors all the time. Man. You do really? Yeah, yeah. You I, seem like you're in pretty good shape. Well, I'm afraid of getting sick, though, man. I, I'm afraid of that stuff. Yeah. You know, because I don't like, like. I go to specialists. I go to the Mayo Clinic every. Oh day. yeah, they're pretty good up there. They're great. You got some top boys. Yeah, because I used to go to general practitioners, GPs. Yeah. Those guys suck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even understand what they're general. They don't. They're not a specialist or anything. So they're right. kind of like, yeah, I'm a little bit good at every. You know. Yeah. So I go, give me a physical. You know what they do? They go like this. They poke around my belly. You know what I mean? And then they they take a thing. They uh, uh, look at my ear with a light. <laughs> yeah. Right. They, right. I, I go, oh, is everything all right there in my head? My entire head's good, huh? <laughs> they, can, they can see the entire yeah. head. They go, yeah, everything's all right there. <laughs> then they take the thing, it's almost like a cartoon, that, like they hit my knee with a oh, mallet. Oh, the reflex yeah. mallet, sure, yeah. And, so, and that never comes back negative, you know, I mean... Yeah, that, you're, all, yeah. you're hooked up, right. sometimes it might, but you're hooked up pretty good. Yeah, they go, you're not, uh, good news, you're not paralyzed from the neck down. You're, <laughs> your knee responds to yeah. me hitting it with a hammer. <laughs> But thank God I'm not I, done. He's just resting. Thank now, God I miss, I miss you. Though. I miss yeah. Now you. I, I want to ask you a question about your uh, personal life, and, yes. and if it's none of my business, please tell me. Now I heard that you had uh, given up. Uh, you had a recreation. You had a hobby. Uh, g gambling. You enjoyed gambling. Yeah, I had the hobby of uh, compulsive gambling. Really? <laughs> and and you've you've given it up? Yeah. Well, I, good for you. That's yeah, a big yeah, step. Yeah. Yeah. So it, how's that going? It's uh, it's not much fun. Life isn't much fun without it. Really? No. It's not a lot of fun because there's nothing to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't watch games anymore because I used to bet on the games. It was very exciting. I don't go to Las Vegas. I, I start, the thing about it is you start feeling like a big jackass, you know, because... <laughs> You lose so much money, and then they think they're fooling you. Like, you go to casinos, right? Yeah, sure. And they're friendly to you. Like, the bigger jackass you are, the more friendly they are. <laughs> you know? Like, you know you're in trouble when a guy runs up and wants to give you free stuff. Hey, you want a steak? <laughs> you're like, no, that's all right. Free, man. I'll, free, I'll buy you a free, uh, like, some beef. You're like, no, that's all right. That's Plus, just to keep you gambling yeah. is what it is. Yeah. yeah, you want to stay here in the hotel, like, for free for a week? You're like, no, I'm just here for the day. Yeah. Or, no, sure. seriously, and I got some steak. Yeah. Did you... Did you... <laughs> Did you, did you ever win really, really big? I don't know much about gambling. I don't know much about this uh, compulsion. So, but did you ever win big? Is that the point, or is it just the the action? Uh, uh, I don't know. I went to a psychiatrist. You ever go to those guys? Yeah, sure. You do? Sure. <laughs> those guys are horrible. <laughs> Well, are they worse than the GPs? They're much worse. I'll tell you what a psychiatrist does, man. They, they make you, like, get in touch with the emotions that you spend your life trying to avoid at all costs. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Well, I'm glad you're not gambling. This one woman, man, she was trying to, she was 
like, what are you doing? I'm like, hey, man, <laughs> you know, everything's fine. She's like, no, but why, why? Yeah. All of a sudden, I'm like all emotional. Like, you on Monday night, were you emotional? You were, yeah. you know, when a guy's, like, not a regularly emotional guy like you. Right. And then they are emotional. Right. It's like, it may, it's like watching Nixon cry or something. <laughs> like, <laughs> I wasn't really crying. I wasn't, I wasn't yeah, break down and sobbing or anything. Yeah, it was a great moment. Yeah. A great moment. Oh, yeah. And when you brought the doctors out right. and all that and the staff, and all I could think of is uh, at that hospital, what about the people that come in? Well, I felt, I felt bad about the guy they left on the table. Yeah. <laughs> yeah too bad. Uh, ah, you're a good man. It's so good to have you back. I've been having to watch Rhoda on the Channel 6. Right. Now, when we come back, I want you to tell the story. Every time you've been here, we, we didn't have time to get to the story. The first time uh, you got drunk and right, yeah. Okay, we'll do it. Right. We'll be right back here with Norm yeah. MacDonald. <laughs> MacDonald, it's a great story, and uh, we always run out of time, and I want you to tell <laughs> And uh, You were a kid, right? And this is the yeah. first time you were... You got drunk? When I got drunk, yeah. I was a very straight-laced kid, you know. How old were you when this happened? I was 18, 18. 19 years okay. old. And I decided, I decided to drink, you know. And uh, I was out with my buddies at a bar. My God, we started drinking. They had those uh, shooters, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are hard to take, you know. You can't, you can't gauge them, you know. <laughs> and uh, before you knew it, I was so crazily drunk, like just drunk out of my mind. And uh, so then uh, uh, time passes in a weird way, and, I, and my friends, they wanted to leave the bar. Right. Like, yeah, let's go, right? And I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy all of a sudden, right? So uh, I'm like, why should I leave? We're yeah. having fun here yeah. at the bar. You guys leave if you want, right? <laughs> so they go, and I'm making friends with everybody, man. There's a fat guy with a beard, you know? And uh, there's a jukebox. It's like a, a Western movie, yeah. you know what I mean? And uh, there's a bartender. There's all kinds of ladies and everything like that. And everybody's my friend, right? so I'm getting drunker and drunker with these shots, you know, and they're all crazy, dirty sex name shots, you know, like, oh, yeah. here, have a dirty sex, you know, you know like, whatever. <laughs> 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 they, they make you order them to give yeah, you, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. you're such a, you're a drunk loser, you're like, yeah, can I, can you yeah. have sex with my, just yeah. come on. So, anyways, uh, so uh, I get all drunk, and then I go into the bathroom, and a dude gives me some pills, he has some pills. Oh, no. Yeah. And you're not supposed to ever mix pills with booze. Is that right? Yeah. And then any doctor... You know they told you up at the Mayo Clinic? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this guy was not a doctor. He was just a guy I met in the bathroom. Even worse than a GP. He was worse than a GP. His name, though, his name, though, was Dr. Midnight. <laughs> But I found out he was not accredited. Not really a doctor, no. Yeah. So anyways, so I take these pills, and what they do is, <laughs> they, they say that you're not supposed to mix them, but on the other hand, it, in one way it works. So I'm like so drunk now, I'm having so much fun and everything. I, hey, fat bearded guy having an arm wrestle with him. I don't know how to arm wrestle. <laughs> then all of a sudden I go to, I'm playing pool, I go to shoot a thing of pool, and I fall down right in all the pool balls. <laughs> And then I just black out. What's called blacking out. Yeah. It's not passing out. You black out. You don't don't remember anything. Oh yeah. Bro, I wake up right. I'm in a bed, but it's not my bed, you know. And I look beside me. Who do I see? The fat bearded guy. <laughs> <laughs> so I go, uh, holy Lord God! I had I had sex with the fat bearded guy. <laughs> and, at this point in my life, I was a young uh, uh, man. I had never had intercourse mm -hmm. in my life. Right. And I'd always imagined it, but I never imagined it that way. You know? <laughs> I think so. No. I imagined a nice lady in a dress. That's right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but there's got to be yeah, a first time for everybody. Be, yeah, not, yeah. It's not all gravy. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I look over and I go, oh my God. Then I notice we're in twin beds there. You know, we're not, oh. like, not in the same bed. Right. And I go, is this some kind of one of them old-fashioned gay guys? <laughs> <laughs> huh? I don't know. There's no such thing. No. Uh, <laughs> gay guys are generally not old-fashioned. They're right on top of the Happen. latest thing. They're happy. They're happy. They're happy. Right, right on top of the latest thing. Yeah, That's right. 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 <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> 
so ahead of things, they have sex, and they don't even use a lady. <laughs> so, so anyway. So what, anyway, so the upshot of the story is, what happens is I never had sex with this fat guy with a beard. <laughs> this guy had checked me into a rehab. Mm -hmm. this, this guy was like a dirty drunk. And he, he took me for a dirty drunk, too, sure. yeah. right? Yeah. So I'm like, what the hell? He says, yeah, hey, man, you know, I'll go here and rehab, man. It's good for both of us. And I'm like, yeah, I got it. So I had a big, uh, like, a robe on and fluffy slippers. They, w <laughs> they wouldn't give me my clothes, right? Well, how long were you in? They had a bag of my clothes somewhere. They wouldn't tell me where I was. Would they let you out? No, three days I had to stay. Three days? Yeah. 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 That's awful. They made me go. To an, what is called an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting, right. right? And I get up, I go, hey, I'm not an alcoholic, which it turns out is what a lot of alcoholics They all say that, yeah. I said, that fat bearded guy, there's the alcoholic right over there. And how long did you guys date? Oh! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Norm MacDonald. We'll be right back.